lexica.art. So they have five million of the stable diffusion images indexed and they've made them searchable. So it's this guy here, Sharif. He says that it was a weekend side project in just 12 hours, 100 gigs of the egress. That's pretty crazy. I can't only imagine what it is now. And it's been online for a few days. But they have the prompts next to the, um, the images. And of course, you can search. So say enamel pin. Now here are some enamel pins. You'll notice that the spelling isn't that great. That's because the, this is current stable diffusion model doesn't have the 20 billion size parameters of say like Google's party model to learn to spell. Smaller parameter sizes, you don't really get spelling. These models also learn to count. So it can be like four dogs, one cat in the scene, and it doesn't just put 15 dogs in. So future versions of stable diffusion are gonna have spelling and counting likely. Um, that's just natural, more data, more capabilities. This is a wolf, you don't need spelling for the wolf. So let's copy this prompt. I will show you the GoBot. GoBot is actually live. So you do dream and then you copy and paste your prompt and you tab over, you have all these others. So I can say N for number, four. Um, yeah, let's just do that. See if we can get some clean wolf enamel pins. Um, and they're supposed to look like this. So here we go. And there they are. Other thing I can um, up on my keyboard, up arrow is going to give me the last prompt I use. So I can just say Bishan. All right, it's running on their super fast cluster of A100 pods. And yeah, those are Bichon pins. So um, another thing you can do is the aspect ratio. So like I want, if I wanna see it in 16 by nine real quick, I just do that. And it's probably gonna give me this one in 16.9. 16 oh no, it gave me all four, that's nice. So yeah, if I click on one of them, like this one, then I get that. And then I can be like five by seven aspect ratio. And see what it does. It's amazing how quick these things are. So there we have it. Well, you get the point. So basically, Lexica allows you to search. You can search for your favorite celebrities. See some creepy photos people made during the beta. Um, I did go through not all the photos from the beta are in there. Um, textual inversion is something that is becoming more popular. So here's an example. You have four pictures of this statue from different angles and fine tunes the model to draw this statue, that's S. And so now you say an oil painting of S and there's the statue as an oil painting or an app icon and as an Elmo or a crochet. Same thing with this statue, just needed three images of the statue and it learned to draw the statue. Two paint, or two S in this painting on a boat. So it put two statues, this two S or an S backpack, uh, Banksy, and then this themed lunchbox. Um, another thing is uh, input samples can be masked. So like you mask the Mona Lisa, you mask these guys on the beam and then uh, four images of the statue, it starts drawing that where the Mona Lisa would be or where the guys are. Same thing here, this same statue, three images, and now you replace the iPhone in Steve Jobs' hand with the statue. So it just kind of draws it in. Obviously the fingers aren't the same orientation. You know, his goal was not to block the screen so people could see his old screen. So future models, maybe they'll start mimicking that as well. Um, that'll be interesting. We have Stable Diffusion Web UI. This is a Gradio um, based web UI, but they've got a lot of stuff in it already. Real ESR GAN for the upscaling, GFP GAN for face correction, they've got the textual inversion, they've got an advanced image to image editor, so it's down here. You can draw your circles and text guided prompt, and then it draws the owl or whatnot. And a lot of a lot of functionality in these web UIs. So 
This is probably the most advanced one I've seen so far, but open source repository. I will link it below. So yeah, that's my quick update for today. Go check out the GoBot. This is pretty cool. It's live right now. Not sure how long they're going to keep it up, but basically said that we are not making it work hard enough. Um, so they want us to come in and crush this thing. All right. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing your generations.